An affair like this <laughs> would not be complete without our next guest. He's famous for his after-dinner speeches. He's one of the legends of show business, and he certainly needs no introductions. So. <laughs> but here he is, a wonderful man. I come here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Friend, <laughs> Words alone cannot convey the grief that I feel in my heart for this wonderful man who was taken away from us all too soon. <laughs> By the hand of our heavenly father. However, we can all take solace knowing that dawn has gone and entered that big stage door in the scar. <laughs> to join the other greats from the halcyon days of show business. <laughs> Such luminaries as George M. Cohen, Al Jolson, and Ricardo Cortez. <laughs> Gentlemen, Don Rickles shall not pass this way again, and for that we can all be great. <laughs> but let me just for a moment recount to you those last poignant days in Don's life. Before the final curtain ran down for eternity, <laughs> his lovely wife Barbara came to his deathbed with her new fiancé, George Bush. <laughs> Under that surface of hatred and cruelty was a layer of warmth and love. And under that layer, ladies and gentlemen, was another layer of even more hatred and cruelty. <laughs> There's much more I can say, but I have to leave. I'm doing a moral griffin. <laughs> and now it is the request of the family that we all get into our limousines and drive out to Don's final resting place, the Forest Lawn Animal Cemetery. <laughs> Charlie Callis, ladies and gentlemen.